Hello, this is Eli G. Brown slash Eli G. Broly here with another recent mock that I've made for Bionicle. This is uh, one of the first ones that I have done for 2016, though it still uses pieces that were only available as of 2015. But nonetheless, it's another mock. So, there you have it. The whole idea for this one, uh, by the way, uh, this is supposed to be a, uh, a mutated skull spider. And I'll get more into that in a bit. Um, the whole idea for um, making this was, well, I started off uh, with the dark blue skull spider mask. Uh, and what I wanted to do was to make a spider using that mask. And I started off with having it be a small spider. But then I couldn't figure out how to get all the parts that I needed for that. And then I thought maybe instead maybe making a mouse. But then, no, I really want it to be a spider. So I decided to have it actually be a big spider, not a small one like I originally intended for it to be. So, this is a much larger spider right here. It uses two of the main uh, torso pieces uh, that are the uh, standard size with the ball joints on the shoulders, not the thinner ones without the uh, ball joints, just so you know. And also not the much taller uh, torso pieces that come in the much larger sets. And, and, well, just like a couple of the other mocks I've done, this, this mock is a combination of the original building system that the original generation of Bionicle had, and the modern character and creature building system, or CCBS, which was first introduced with LEGO Hero Factory, the replacement to Bionicle after it originally was discontinued in 2010. Now I needed to figure out what parts that I needed, at least which parts uh, would work, uh, with a spider that is blue and black. Now, of course, unfortunately, there aren't many of the dark blue uh, armor pieces that are in this exact color. At least, I don't have any of them anyway, but I think that uh, the new Kopaka set did come with uh, one of the uh, those shoulder uh, armor pieces, um, it, and I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but one of those, uh, shoulder armor pieces that, uh, I just kind of had this little, uh, little point on the top of it. Like, like it, it was used, uh, on Onua's torso from the first year of the reboot. Um, it, I hope you can, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain what pieces that I'm talking about, but anyway, I don't have any of those pieces in the dark blue color, so I, I just went with the parts that I did have available in my parts drawers. So, in this case, what I went with was creating these legs. Now, of course, the front legs are very different, while the... while these legs at the back, these right here, they use, well, entirely the older Bionicle building system parts. Like these arm pieces right here, they came from the uh, Vaki sets, though they also came with some of the earlier Toa sets. Though these particular ones should have come from the Vaki, because they're in the dark blue color. And these pieces right here, the uh, double female Technic pieces, they're, they're the much longer ones that were introduced with the Visorak in 2005. And I think that, uh, I'm not quite sure as to what sets that these all came from. I mean, I know that, uh, was that, what's the Visorak's name? Sukarak? I'm not quite sure, but something like that. And... Well, I don't know where the other ones came from, but... Anyway... 
So, I, I used those pieces. I was fortunate enough to find six of these pieces in this color and six of these pieces in this color, as well as having the blue, uh, these blue arm pieces, which are the same molds from Karapar from the Baraki series in 2007. And I got a bunch of those off of Bricklink. I think they came from a different series of sets, and they've actually been used in a couple of my mocks before, and now I'm using them again. So, uh, for the back here, I use the black main body piece uh, over here, and this chest piece right here, this blue one right here. It actually came from the Captain America buildable action figure set originally. I just uh, rubbed the printing off of it so it wasn't Captain America specific. And then there's this blue five long size armor piece. I only had one of those and I didn't know what to do with it. I've tried multiple different things that I could do with it. And so I found, I found something to do with it. Uh, a good mock that uses only one of those pieces. And it covers up the back pretty well. I kind of thought of maybe uh, adding on uh, one of those hair pieces uh, that uh, that older Hero Factory fans are familiar with from the Savage Planet series, but unfortunately I didn't have any of those available, so I just didn't use it. Now for the bottom, I used one of these pieces that attaches to one of the torso pieces, and then this one, it actually attaches to the uh, ball joint where the head is supposed to go. And it does move out. I, I did actually originally use another one of these pieces, but it didn't fit, uh, especially with the legs, since the, this part right here kind of is a bit wider than, than that. And as for the uh, head, I once again went with going with a custom head that uses these bulk cup pieces. I'll show you exactly how it's supposed to uh, work. Like there's this bulk cup piece which attaches to one of the main torso pieces. And then there are these four bulk cup pieces that are all are attached. Just to let you know, these are the older bulk cup pieces that uh, were in Bionicle up until 2007, not the modern, more stable versions. Because the modern version doesn't even allow you to connect the uh, connect the ball joints by putting uh, the axle socket of one into here and then putting a socket piece through there. The the modern version just doesn't work like that. And I actually used two of the. Uh, half size lift arm pieces with the two pinholes in them to make sure it didn't flop around. Uh, like if I held this down, um, this doesn't flop around like that. And the skull spider mask is ju just attaches to the, uh, the third ball cup piece from the top, second from the bottom. And I, I guess you could probably, you probably would ask me, how come you didn't use a transparent one of those, uh, didn't use transparent uh, ball cap pieces uh, for the head because you probably could have actually had eyes coming out through the eye sockets, like glowing eyes. It was just something that I didn't want to do. I probably could have done that. Maybe I should have done that, but I didn't do it. Now, I bet you're also wondering what are these supposed to be? Well, believe it or not, these are supposed to be the jaws. I know, it's ridiculous to see jaws coming out of the side of the head, because you wouldn't see something like that in real life, at least as far as I know. But here's the thing, this is a character from a fictional universe where it doesn't play by the where not everything runs the same, doesn't play the same rules, doesn't follow the same rules that real life would have, and so just went with having the, uh, the claws right here. Now basically, if you actually took this off of here, it would basically just look like a skull spider that actually has his legs on backwards. Like, maybe, maybe like this, he was like some sort of a skull spider that actually uh, somehow uh, got damaged, and then it had helped to get its legs connected back on, but they were connected back on the wrong way. 
That's just how it looks like if you have it taken off. But attach it here. These. Oh, I kind of attached it on the wrong way. These are supposed to be the jaws and the pinchers right here. If you don't think that they look like pinchers or jaws, that's fine. You can call them whatever you want, but officially, I'm calling them pinchers, uh, like that. And I bet some people are going to ask me, where did I get these blue pieces? These are the uh, arm pieces from the, uh, well, from Bohatu, from the original uh, first year of Bionicle. Well, I got these off of Bricklink. I have no idea what set these originally came from. So, that's just to let, just, just to let you know there. Okay, so that's about it for this mock. If there are any questions that you have concerning uh, this mock, or if you think that there is actually something that I probably could have done on this mock but didn't, do, do let me know, and I'll see if I can answer the questions. And if there is something you think that is off about this thing, do let me know, and I will see if I can fix that. But remember, this is a mock that I made using pieces that I only had, not any pieces that I had recently purchased off of Bricklink. Some of them were originally purchased off of Bricklink, but not very recently. Uh, any pieces that were used on this mock but did come from Bricklink, uh, I bought them a long time ago, and I've had them for a while. So that's it. I will see you again in my next video. Bye for now.